When I was in university, I spent a great deal of my time in the library. It was quite an old building, but that only made reading old books more fun. And it was pleasant to spend a whole afternoon there and lose myself, dreaming about awesome feats of man. When I wasn't up in that old library, I was probably studying in an empty classroom. Those were always the quietest places. I always had one all to myself where I could... Oh, yes. Nancy. A disruption to my studies at first. She was always coming when I was least expecting her. And when I was expecting her. Even hoping. She made me feel better than most books, even. My studies were not severely afflicted because my work was very important to me. I mostly kept to myself because people were distractions to my goal. Space captured my imagination. My heroes were those at the cutting edge of scientific discovery. My final semester was coming to a close, and I felt I was at a crossroads of sorts. My whole life I did everything for my career, and then Nancy came into my life. Upon graduation, I was less sure of my ambitions. It was a time of great confusion for me, you see. Never since I was a little kid, I wanted to soar among the stars. Love was new and exciting, but love was not in the plan. In fact, I've come to realize over the years that love kind of disregards all planning and preparation. The thought of potentially being away from Nancy for months at a time was a very heavy thought. Of course, she persuaded me to go under the condition, if I became an astronaut, that I would come back. I enlisted in the Air Force one month into the new year. And that was a long time ago. A lifetime. I've stood over the world looking down, watching it silently spin. I was up there on my third mission when they found tumor in her brain. I still think back sometimes to the library and all those books and her. My, how I would lose myself. We were together 15 years, 3 months and 11 days. An astronaut always knows the time. She made me promise I would come back but I never made her promise to be there when I did. Oh, enough with all the sorrows and pains of yesterday. Remember to eat your vegetables and stand up straight. Your bones will thank you for it. Oh, and do not fret for me. I now go to visit those stars again one last time. <laughs>